Okay, guys, I am back with these books all caught up. And I'm going to show you the kit one more time before we get started. And then I'll show you things that I've already prepared ahead of time. Um, I, I will say, let me show you the kit first again. And then um, this is her letters to Santa. I don't think I said that in the last video on which kit exactly it was. Um, so yeah, these, and this is printed on the uh, Epson uh, presentation paper. This is really, really, really pretty. I hope the camera's picking up all the detail in these. It's a very pretty pack. I'll have to go back and listen or watch some of her videos because I think she did a kit with this one. And maybe she says in there, um, like where, where did she get this part or like the part that does say like Dear Santa on it? Like this one, like, is this like letters that our kids wrote or, or are they, I, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and see if she's got anything on that. Um, or if she didn't say in one of her videos and she'd like to tell me in the comments what, um, like where she found those, that would be awesome. And I, I think I said before too, if you look here at these right here they are really like you can tell I don't know if the camera will pick it up but all of this it's very detailed um, sometimes like you know it um, you don't get those details in it uh, in some kits and I really like that you can really tell what it is and here's the dear Santa letter Okay, and then these are the embellishment pieces, the cards, the Christmas cards that come in the kit. This stuff is printed on um, white cardstock, and I have not backed them. Um, and that's what you kind of saw me take off a minute ago was the ones that I've already printed. Okay, so I have prepared the books, and I have no idea where this stuff keeps coming from. And I learned a very valuable tip that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, sometimes the cheaper the book, the worse it is to get the pages out. Um, I did, okay, so let me go back. Okay, so these are going to be quick little gifts for, um, a thank you. And I'll tell you for who in a minute, but I chose to take out 10 pages of each one. And then I've already taken them out and some of them have like the double pocket, like two pages, that sort of thing. So, um... Yeah, but the cheaper the book, the more you're going to risk um, tearing this because if you, um, the way it's bound, see, it's like not in like kind of normal book style. Um, so just be careful when you're picking out your book. The reason I picked these books is because it had this cream, <clears throat> sorry, cream finish here. And I'm going to put Christmas fabric here and I'm going to use some of those um, vintage Santa napkins for right here. Um, so just be careful. Just be aware of that. Um, when you buy it, just make sure that it, um, the spine is a little more sturdy. Um, we're going to have to use some washi tape on, I don't know if it's this one, um, on, on this next one that I have because um, I'm going to be working on it kind of simultaneously as I'm working on this because I need two. They're going to be the same kit, um, that sort of thing. And I, I am going to be using a little um, for some of the embellishments when we decorate the pages um, uh, from Dreams, etc. Just some of her um, Santa pack, or not Santa pack. I'll have to get a list of what, what's all in those um, particular kits. But um, yeah, so I'll just be filling in. So since I'm doing more than one, um, when I do multiple, um, things, I like to prepare them, not necessarily all the same way, but kind of, um, and I may end up, 
Um, it was kind of kind of the gist out of the several people that I watched. You know, I watched Gail do hers, and there's a couple other that I watched do um, these altered books. And so it was suggested to leave a couple of pieces up, or like a couple of pages up front. Um, so kind of what I'm going to do first, since I'm kind of doing a bunch or two of these, they're going to be similar. Um, and I feel like I'm repeating myself, which I probably am. So I'm going to go ahead and fold over the pockets first. And then I'm going to do it for both books. I won't do the second one on camera. Um, and I'm starting to time myself um, because I want to see, um, or I've got to keep these videos like at 30 minutes. Um, there's that one. And I think I... Okay, so that's that one. Um, I'm doing... I'm... Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm lost for words. I think that happens when you're not used to filming again, and it doesn't seem like a week would be um, sufficient enough for you to... I don't want to say forget how to film. Just, um, I think if you, if you take a break away from filming then you're nervous all over again, and then you get tongue-tied again. I don't know if others find that that's true or not, but for me it is. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to um, do double, it's a double side, or yeah, double side tuck. So see, it'll be a tuck here and a tuck here, okay? And then... This one's going to, let me grab my paper punch really quick. And I have one clip here, but I'll turn around here in a minute and get my other binder clips. The ones that obviously work better. Oh, sorry, I jostled you. Um, uh, now what was I saying? Don't remember. There's not a ton that I'm gonna do different um, but I did have a couple of different ideas. So, so I'll do that one at the top. And I think there's 12 pockets in these. So again, not anything different than what you've really seen with Gail and the couple others that I've seen do them. Um, but yeah, so far I'm having fun with it. And the pockets aren't going to be in any particular order as far as, because um, here's some double ones again. So I think like this one is going to be, so do the back, no, do the front page first. Um, okay, so what these are for is um, we are hopefully we are still not done with our refi, but in the meantime, we found a new vehicle for me. And what I want to do is um, we've dealt with the same guy for years. And so what I'm hoping to do is um, give him a Christmas gift. And it turns out that he's kind of the manager of the place now because we're trading off my car. Um, and he's the manager now, but then he, um, it turns out, oh, hold on, what the heck? Well, looks like I flubbered up that one. No matter, you know what? We're going to end up having a pocket on this side. Um, no biggie. Um, so basically what just happened is we're going to end up, okay, so I only, okay, so here's a double pocket, right? Um, double pocket here. Here's my cutout pages here. Then I should have left two, right? So that, you know, it could have been folded over and here the other page, but I didn't do that. So what we're going to do is since I have a space here and not an extra piece of paper, we'll just make the tuck on this side. 
I don't know that that's ever come up with anybody else and maybe it has and maybe I just wasn't paying attention. So then on this one, we'll go ahead and fold it in this direction. And like I said, um, try to not buy this particular book and I'll show you. I'll show you which one it is. Um, that should be about the same. Let's see what's the name of this one. Um, Goodbye Stranger at the dollar store. Yeah, don't buy that one. Um, cause the spine, the papers and the spines are very cheap. Like I've used dollar store books before and you know, I've done things and I've never, 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 never had an issue until now. Okay. So this one should be a sing. No, this one's also a double. So let's do, let's do this one. Side tuck again. Anyways, um, so I'm making one for our friend that we've bought cars from before. And then I'm going to make one for the new sales guy. And it turns out um, that I had never met him, but one of my friends from high school married our, sale, our new salesman. Um, so yeah, that was kind of a treat. Um, once I figured out his last name... And then I figured out, I was like, hey, you're my friend's husband. It was kind of interesting. Okay, and let's do, since there's quite a bit of side tucking, let's do another tall one up here like this. And they had never, like, they've never um, heard of junk journals or anything like that. So, yeah, it's... Um, this is going to be fun. Oh, and I did it again. Did you see that? Well, again, we're having to be inventive, right? It doesn't always have to be how everybody else does it, right? Hopefully. Yeah, okay. And this is what I'm talking about. Some of these, these back pages tore right along with the other ones being torn out. So... Again, I would be very, 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 very careful um, when choosing, like, stay away from this particular book as far as, like, altered book. Okay. So we'll just use some washi tape on it, and I'm thinking that it should be just fine then. Okay, so, and then that one will go there, and that is our pockets. All right, so random, cool, yep, we like that. I've left, some people are leaving the black, back fly sheet, so I'll leave those. There's two fly sheets. Um, yeah, okay, so let's skip over to this other one here. Let's see how much we can get done in 30 minutes. So I guess this turns out to be a pretty decent video as far as uh, you get to see the mistakes and all, right? Um, and then that way, if you haven't done an altered book, you can attempt it and look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh no, there is more paper there. I was like, oh my goodness, do you see that? Okay, so I'm gonna make this one. top pocket again and keep in mind guys this is my very first altered book so we're kind of learning together so I will I will be more than happy to share all my my uh, mistakes with you um, right yeah we'll just learn all all the pitfalls together. Okay, so this one's a single one. Um, hmm. You know what I'm thinking? It would be really cool to put... I think that's what I'll do. Because since I already have like side pocket, tall pocket, I think I'll leave these two, like, we'll cover these with, um, whatchamacallit, um, the uh, 
brown paper, uh, masking paper, to where it becomes a writing spot. And we'll take this side and go down like this. So that creates that pocket there. Okay. This is also a single one, so we'll go ahead and do a double, like two-sided type thing here. This one is a double, so I'm going to take my little double pocket here, oh I think I was trying to say earlier is I think I did do a um, 12 pockets in these, um, and I think it was a 200 and some page book. And I did 10 pages. Oh, right, because I was going to tell you what it, like, you know who it's for. But um, they have kids, and the one has kids of, of lots of different ages. And then the other one has two small ones. And so my thought is, let's do a, a tall pocket here. Um... So my thought is, is that they, um, I'm going to make tall journaling cards, obviously for these, but also then they could put like their, you know, if they have any, um, you know, like Christmas play, um, what do they call those? It was just in, like playbook or playwright books or whatever they're called. Oh, here's another double. Um. Hmm. What shall we do? I don't think we've done a double pocket one yet. Let's do a double pocket one. A double side pocket, I should say. Okay. And I may regret folding all of these early. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll just fake it till we make it, right? But anyways, I, I really think that they'll enjoy these. What the heck? Oh, but I did it again. Gosh darn it. I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing all these. I mean, it, do it doesn't matter. It's fixable, but apparently I need to go a little slower. And not be in so big of a hurry. going for interesting, right? Okay. Hmm. Can't do two double pockets there. So I guess this sheet's coming out. And I'll do a tall pocket. Yeah, I think if I were to do this just like a little slower, I would have had a little bit more, I don't want to say uniformity, but uniformity. And then let's see, what do we have left? Pocket. 
you know. So I don't know if I'm going to get any points for originality. Probably not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, definitely not getting a points for originality. Um... What else can I tell you about life lately? Um, I don't really think a whole lot other than um, snow, snow, and more snow. And um, we're supposed to have more snow tomorrow. And at first they were produ predicting like a couple more inches. Um, well, and I should tell you, we've had so much snow that um, they actually had to employ the dump trucks and... Um, uh, like skidsters and um, all that jazz to be able to clean out the side streets before any um, more snow hits. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so here is our first section here. I'm just going to binder clip it down a little bit so that it kind of stays open while we're working. Um, and I already pre-cut a bunch of wrapping paper. Um, and, oh, I know, I since they have kids, I want it to be fun and something they'll want to look at, too, the older they get. Um, so this one's really going to be fun, just play with it type. And then I showed you the kit. So, yeah, let's just um, play and get started. Um, and like I said, I once... Once we've hit the 30 minutes, then I'm going to break, I'll finish, I'll work um, in the other one real quick, and then I'll start the camera again. Um, and can you believe it? We're already at almost 30 minutes. Well, maybe you can believe it, but I certainly cannot. And I think for some of this, I'm going to have to stand up because, um, let's get this out of the way for a minute. Um, yeah. Like I said, you could probably believe it's been 30 minutes because you're on the other end watching, but as far as the creating time, um, it doesn't seem like it took me that long to do the, like to fold everything up. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. So, and I think I said last week, okay, so Gracie and I missed the challenge um, as far as the deadline. Um, it needed to be in on the 30th of November and, um, yeah, that's not going to happen. It didn't happen. So we missed, um, I don't even know if there's really any awards or anything for that one. I didn't actually pay attention to that. Not that we were going for that. Um, and that's okay. Like I said, we're, we're good with that. Um, what we're going to end up doing is we'll finish it and we'll probably do it through probably, um, I'm not sure when it'll air but we will keep working on it. Um, I loved every second of filming that with her. Um, as most of you can already kind of guess, she's kind of my, my little mama's girl. Um, she's a daddy's girl too, but, um, I thoroughly enjoyed all of the time that I got to spend with her doing that. Um, so yeah, we're going to finish it. I have every intentions. She has every intentions. And how perfect is that? Look at that. It's going to line out and be little frames. And um, I am inking. So if you guys hate inking, then close your eyes or, or whatever. I'm hoping. Yep, I think that'll work hoping, what I was going to say is I'm hoping that this second half is just about perfect for the other one. Like, I'll use it in different places, obviously. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's ink up this one. And it's going to take me a minute to figure out which one is my vintage photo. Okay, and then also, guys, um, I am um, 
going to be working on some Christmas presents. Um, so I need to know if you guys would like to see it. I know it's something Gail has already done. And I'm not exactly sure how I would film some of it, but I could figure it out if it's something you guys are interested in seeing. Um, I am going to be making ephemera folders. Um, and I would, I don't know, I, is that something you guys want to see? Because um, I, like I said, I will certainly film it if you'd like to see it. Um... But I don't need to film it if we if it's not something you think you guys would like to see. So that was pretty convoluted, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, a little book out that I'm gonna glue with. And can you believe it? This is like my fourth glue stick. I cannot believe it. I didn't anticipate liking this glue stick as much as I do. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of the bee's knees. I do enjoy this glue stick. Um, I do think once I'm done with the case that I bought, I do think I'm going to give that scotch a try too. Um, I watched several people who use those too and they like that too. Um, they're not any less expensive, but I like to, you know, I'm an equal opportunity glue tester, I guess, is what I'm looking or what I was meaning to say. Okay, and so then, honestly, for right now, I'm not going to decorate until I have all my pages, like, put together. Make sense? Um, because there's, um, I, while there's going to be ephemera in it, I'm going to keep some of the pockets pretty open. They'll have something in them. Am I off? I'm off. They're going to have stuff in them, just not, not a ton. Oh boy, this is harder than it looks. That was a bit stressful, guys. Oh, and we're sticking to each other. Yeah, that was a little more stress than I thought it would be. And I'm probably jostling the heck out of you, huh? No worries, guys. Santa plans to be really nice to me this year. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, Santa is bringing me a new workstation. Um, Paul and I were at Home Depot. And I saw this table. And boy, oh boy, are you guys going to love it. Um, so I was like, Santa really, really needs to bring me this table, Polly. And he's like, seriously, you want this workbench? I was like, yep. Guys, it is the coolest thing. And it, well, and I'm going to tell you, it's not even that expensive. But, yeah, see, I don't, I don't know if I'm crazy about some of the, some of it going onto this paper. Um, as far as the glue stick, I don't think I had it heavy enough. Um,. I think, I think on some of it I may end up using a little bit of the art glitter glue on the corners. Okay. Um, so anyways, yeah, this, um, this table, it rolls up and down like you can make it go taller or shorter. Um, I don't know if you guys have figured this out yet or not, but the table that we are on is um, literally like... Um, it's like waist high to me, so it's one of the higher tables, and it's something I just put together. Um, it's two bookcases and a um, one of the wider bookshelf pieces. Um, again, from Home Depot. I kind of, I don't want to say hodgepodge, but kind of. I hodgepodged, um, hodgepodged it together um, because I need, I need the tallness. Um because it hurts to not be tall like I have to be my arms have to be at a certain height okay so that, since this is my first foray into doing these we're going to again fake it till we make it
Oh, that's my timer telling me that um, we're at 30 minutes. Um, so I will just start the video over again. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.